Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and today we're going to be unboxing the LG 34UM67 gaming monitor. As you can see here, it's a wide uh, screen monitor, 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor, 34 uh, inches of 1080p glory. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing out of the box. LG have sent me out two of them uh, for the ultimate gaming setup, so we're going to install them, uh, get them out of the box, uh, and, and, and see what they look like. So let's get straight to it. Right, so here we have the box, as you can see, to give you guys a reference of how big this thing is. It's got my triple monitor set up uh, behind it, and it's taking up pretty much most of the desk, so it's a, a fairly large monitor. Here we go on the front. We've got the uh, we've got we've got Torn and Paul here. Uh, they're actually they're actually in a head-to-head -head race playing some. I'm not sure what that game is uh, right there. But this is a gaming monitor advertised for gamers. So obviously, we're going to see uh, a game on the monitor uh, on the front of the box. Uh, the monitor also has AMD FreeSync technology. Now, I used to have an AMD graphics card. I've uh, recently changed to Nvidia, so I might have to whack my AMD card back in just to test out the FreeSync uh, and really see if it gets rid of the motion blur uh, like advertised. Uh, we've got the black stabilizer here. Now that is um, that is advertised to make blacks lighter, so you can see in dark areas of the scene uh, a little bit easier. Say if you're playing a game and in in the game and the scene's quite dark, you can see uh, your surroundings a little bit easier. It has a dedicated game mode to reduce input lag. Now the input lag on this monitor is around three milliseconds. I've been told, uh, so we'll be testing that out. And obviously it is an IPS uh, display, so the viewing angles should be. Pretty good. As I already mentioned, it's a 34 inch uh, monitor with the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So let's get this thing out of the box and see uh, how big uh, it really is. So we'll go through the boring stuff first. The top of the box. Let's uh, let's see what we've uh, what we've got in here. This looks like uh, some sort of an IO shield, uh, so we can uh, put it over the back. Uh, of the IO on the back of the monitor just to make it look a little bit more clean. It's got a little bit of plastic uh, on that there. I always love doing that. <laughs> it's really satisfying. Uh, so yeah, that's got a nice uh, glossy finger. Uh, glossy, it's picking up fingerprints really bad that actually. Um, so we'll just place it off uh, to one side. Uh, it looks like here we've got uh, an instruction manual, a uh, quick start guide, as well as a instruction CD, uh, if that's your thing. It's not mine, so I won't be looking at those. Uh, here it looks like we have the stand for the monitor, so let's see what we're working with here. From the picture, it looks like the stand uh, is a plastic uh, see-through material uh, back with a bottom base. So. Uh, hopefully it's going to look good if you're not wall mounting it, you want to use the stand. Uh, let's take off the plastic uh, on that again. As you can see, uh, very glossy, prone uh, to fingerprints as you can see there. So once you put your monitor down, you're not going to want to be touching it. Uh, because you're going to want to uh, keep the fingerprints away from the monitor. So let's place the stand off to one side. Looks like we're going to have to assemble this with some screws here. Um, We've got an accessory pack here. Let's see what we've got in the box here. Um, EU power cable. That's not going to work for me. I'm going get, to get, get an adapter for that. Uh, the throw is a little HDMI cable as well, which is uh, which is uh, quite quite cool for them to do that. We've also got the uh, power brick there. Uh, they pretty much give you everything to get started. There's our two screws. If you're unboxing this monitor, make sure they're not going to fly out like they just did then, because you need them. So. And here we have the main portion of the show. Here is the LG monitor, followed by some styrofoam. So here we have the monitor uh, itself, very well packaged here. Um, let's take off the, uh, the uh, foam to reveal this gorgeous IPS display. There we go, so we've got a little bit of a sticker covering uh, the LG logo there. Let's just peel that back, take that off around the edge of the monitor. Also along the back side of the monitor, taking that off. I've noticed that the monitor everywhere is prone to fingerprints so once you put your monitor in place I wouldn't recommend touching it. Right 
Right, so we've built the two monitors here. They're looking absolutely gorgeous. It took me literally 30 seconds to build them. Two screws and you're done. The monitors actually have two heights on the stand. So if you want your monitor a little bit taller, uh, you put it in the first screw holes. And if you want it a little bit shorter, you put it in the second screw holes. It's as simple uh, as that. And it's the small things uh, like that that companies can do. Uh, that really uh, enhance uh, the experience of the product. Now, a few people will be wanting to look at the articulation of the monitors, so I've got both of them here. Uh, you can tilt the monitors down uh, or up. There's not a massive range of motion, but there's enough there uh, for if you're gonna be sat uh, at a desk or in a gaming workspace, uh, there's enough articulation. Uh, on the monitors uh, so you can get them in the perfect place uh, as to your viewing angles. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the LG 34UM67. If you did, a like rating would be much appreciated. And stay tuned for our final review. We're going to be testing out these monitors in different scenarios like work uh, and gaming and just see how they generally uh, perform. Uh, and if they, uh, if they are absolutely awesome, then I'll be replacing uh, my triple monitor setup uh, with the two LG monitors. So stay tuned for that. But for now, my name has been Alex, you guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in my next video. Adios.